Happy Halloween! Welcome to the Violet Realm. My name's Amy and I'm one half of Violet Realm. I'm the mom half. Hi, how are you? Nice to see you. Today, um, instead of doing a daily energy reading for Halloween, I'm going to do a pick a card. This is a timeless pick a card for Halloween, so uh, you can access it anytime that you're drawn to it. And uh, this is a general reading. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. We do offer private readings. All that information and our social media is in the description box below. So, all right. Um, let's get into the cards, shall we? All right. We have Nyx, Enchantress of the Night. We have Samhain, Death. Oops. Sorry, guys. And then we have 32, eighth house, endings, and beginnings. All right, so I will also insert a photograph so you can take a moment and uh, see which one you're drawn to. And uh, I will see you guys on the other side. Bye. Hi, guys, all of you that selected the first card, Nyx. Uh, this is a really powerful card. I feel a lot of um, gifts within the craft. Uh, take what resonates and leave the rest behind. It, if you're not, if you don't resonate with like witchcraft or magic, uh, you have some abilities that are uh, latent. That maybe you should, and you may have a feeling about this, and it just make you really uncomfortable. So. Um, we are all very powerful beings who have the ability to change um, the course of our lives. And uh, there's a need here for self-empowerment. I'm feeling like uh, Halloween is going to bring you a sense of intense self-empowerment um, beginning to manifest through uh, November. All right, these cards don't want to. Okay, here we go. All right, I'm going to get three, maybe five. It just depends. Let's see what spirit says. Okay, well, they want that one. We're going to take this one, the bottom one, and the two top. Okay. All right. Uh, let me continue to pull. I'm going to pull some oracles as well. Um, I'm channeling as I go. All right. So I'm feeling... Okay, that's too many. The top. Um... I'm feeling like a lot of you really want to have some fun and uh, for whatever reason are not able to. So, yeah, I feel that. <laughs> I do. But you're not sure what kind of fun you really want to have kind of thing. I get it. <laughs> I get that way too. All right, and one more. We're going to get one of these. I'll go ahead and shuffle this up for you guys. Um... I'm feeling like a, a big connection to like nature magic, fae, um, and some darker aspects as well. Um, you may be drawn to things like the Croatia. And this may be part of your shadow work. Accepting the light and the dark within is very powerful. Uh, you can transform yourself into a whole new person that way. Uh, but it's it takes time, right? So let's get some general energy here. Third house, messages, okay interesting uh fertility and the shaper reclamation vanity surface appearances all right interesting okay uh, lord of ruin ten of swords lord of waves and water knight of cups queen of swords queen of the thrones of air this is really powerful princess of wands princess of the shining flame and the blasted tower okay there is something going on for you um, and I feel like this could be a relationship this is an important connection that you have and uh, there's something going on beneath the surface of this situation and it's ugly and you've had to put on a mask uh, to continue in it and uh, during the next three to six months I'm hearing that this foundation will give way and the toxicity will dissipate and you'll be able to remove your mask and become truly the enchantress of the night. 
Okay, so there's something about you that's very charming. I'm feeling this really coming in with the Princess of Wands here, the Princess of the Shining Flame. There's something about you that's extremely charming and um, wants to come out from this mask, wants to be revealed. They want to come forward. Uh, the truth of you wants to come forward. Uh, but in order to do that, you're going to have to let go of this false perception of yourself and a relationship. There, there's something very vital you need to let go of. And it's there's a wonderful energy. And this enchantress could be male or female. So it, it's not a gender thing here. This is an energy of uh, bringing out this hidden charm within yourself. And and I, I mean hidden as in people know you're charming, okay? Uh, however... Um, they don't know how really charming you could be because I think you've hidden it a lot. I think you've hidden it and um, it's as if you've had to shrink it to make it through your situation. And now the energy that's coming forward with this Halloween is saying it's time to remove the mask, let the tower fall, let everything go so you can be reborn into this beautiful Princess of Wands, uh, Enchantress of the Night energy. This is mystical. It's deep. There is no shallow water here. I'm feeling that very strongly. There is no shallow water here. So uh, you're very deep well. And uh, Spirit wants you to, to really own who you are. You're very powerful. We have messages here. So there is psychic connection for you. And um, there's a sense of beyond this... Um, this tower falling, there's fertility here in um, summer. Uh, so there is a new creation being born, and it will take flight in summer is what I'm hearing. And uh, the Knight of Cups, the Lord of the Waves and Water, this is something coming your way. This is something good. This is something that will make you um, really happy and begin you on a journey towards happiness from this sense of ruin, okay? And I'm feeling it's three to six months from the time you let this go. So uh, let's say you let it go, you know, in the next couple of weeks, three to six months from there. So that's what I'm feeling. I, I don't like it when I get time, to be honest, but I bring through what they say. So, um, you know, time is an illusion in my personal view, but Spirit wants me to bring that forward, so I did. Uh, we have the Queen of Swords here, Queen of the Thrones of Air. This, this right here, this is about taking your power back from this situation, this person, this tower that's falling. This is about removing the mask and being the queen of swords. She's taking heads, okay? She's not taking any uh, bullshit from anyone, all right? And I feel that coming forward with this Nyx energy. Uh, it's a very empowered sense of self that comes from allowing uh, a relationship. It really feels like a relationship go. Let it go. Remove your mask of making everyone think it's perfect, of, of, make, of making yourself believe it's perfect. Let it go. Trust the, the messages you get, the intuition, intuitive hits you get. And as you do this, there's going to be something beautiful reborn. It's like you are being absolutely reconstructed after this loss. So it's really beautiful. You have a lot to look forward to. And um, I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a wonderful Halloween and a blessed Samhain. And I will see you next time. Bye. Hi, guys. Everyone that selected the second card, Samhain, death. This is a general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. We do offer private readings. But all that information is in the description box below. Uh, my guides have indicated that they want me to do an Akashic Pyramid reading. Uh, if you watch my dailies, then you know I, I do do this uh, on Sundays as guided. These uh, cards help me access uh, something known as the Akashic Records, or uh, I don't know. People call it different things, so it's the quantum field, all right? Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull these cards. And, uh, ooh, okay, there we go. And I'll explain how this, it, th this feels like past life energy we're going to talk about. There's a past life coming through for you. Um, and even if you don't believe in past lives, this is a feeling. This is um, a knowing. Um, that there's something going on within your life at a different, deeper level. This is like ascentive, ascentive, 
ascension energy. I don't know where that's coming from, ascentive. Okay. All right. So here we go. Okay. So this, these represent the foundation of what you're working on. Let me see here. We can do a better job. Okay. <laughs> there we go. All right. I mean, I have room for all of these crazy cards, but we'll, we'll figure it out. All right. So this is the uh, foundation. This is what you're, this is the energy you're currently working in. Okay. So we have, okay. Wow. All right. So you're trying to balance. Okay. And there, there's power here in this balance. All right. So that's kind of where you're at right now. You're trying to balance out your life. Uh, we have a queen of forces here. So you're trying to um, find what makes you happy and can make other people around you happy. And uh, with Ad Sun here, I'm feeling, and this is master number 22, you may be a master number 22. Okay, so this is about building foundations. So you are literally, you may have had a tower fall recently, but you are laying foundations for your future. And um, that could be in career, it could be in a relationship, it could just be in general, like you're wanting to better yourself. And I'm feeling that, I'm hearing popping in my ears, I'm feeling that the balance coming in for you will help you uh, find motivation to go to the next level. This queen of forces is very much in control of their environment. There may have been some real chaotic energy around you um, prior to this focus that you have right here. Um, and this queen of forces has peace. There's peace here with the willow as well and balance. And there's spiritual connection. Uh, you may actually have a guide. I'm hearing a family member coming through for you. It feels like a grandparent um, or grandparent-like energy. It could have been a family friend who was like an, a great uncle. There's, it's great. So it's several generations back. But this ancestor is coming forward to help you balance this energy. So the intuitive hits that you get from this person uh, from spirit or from your uh, deep knowing, your subconscious, or whatever you, whatever label you put on it, um, they're bringing forward messages and suggestions to you that will help you with this balance. However, it's very important that you clear your energy and you learn how to discern which thoughts deserve your attention and which don't. This will be very important for your sense of balance. And once you learn this, learn where to go, what to question, and always discern the spirits that come towards you. I feel like you're almost like a magnet. You're becoming magnetized for spirit activity and uh, for manifestation. So let's look at the, the um, yeah, there are three cards here. So this is the next level. Okay. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. So, all right. So I'm feeling like Halloween, what we're trying to do here is get you okay with your spiritual state, get you okay with, um, with being the creative expansive. I'm, ha I'm hearing a Sagittarius energy, um, uh, Jupiter energy you may have some Jupiter, uh, powerful Jupiter placements in your, um, astrology because this loving um, elemental energy feels very expansive with it up in the air. So this balance is going to help you expand and find the things in your life that have value and you treasure. And it's going to help you funnel that into a really powerful place of flow where uh, you will be able to manifest the things in your life you want. But this this level right here is very important. This balance is vital for you to get into this energy of uh, becoming really connected. I feel like some of you may have a real affinity for like um, angelic uh, beings, fey beings, um, ascended beings, ascended masters. This feels very light focused. There's a lot of light energy here. And um, there is a guidance coming through with a Solomon card to not forget your shadow, to not forget your inner darkness. Because at the root of those things that we find about ourselves that are things we hide or we are ashamed of, that is the root of great power for you in your manifestation. All right. The Queen of Keys. All right. So this is the outcome. So... All of this, if you stay on track, which, uh, you know, up in the air, so you can't make any bad decisions here. There's no wrong decisions. This is where you're headed. Uh, the queen of keys here is, um, has a material stability, okay? They feel confident in their abilities. 
they are balanced and they know where to focus their energy and um it's a really beautiful nurturing energy it's as if through this the, through this i'm feeling shadow work now of balance of a uh, spiritual self subconscious self and uh, the 3d world and uh I feel like there's such a self you're it's like you're learning how to nurture yourself that's what you're you're learning compassion for yourself and as you bring the compassion through through uh these uh I'm feeling like love there's a lot of love coming through these spirits around you and that love is going to help transform self doubt into this queen of keys queen of pentacles energy uh very nurturing very loving and you're going to be able to give that freely in fact you won't have to think about giving it it's an energy you will give off to other people so um this is this is a wonderful process that's going on for you and uh i'm feeling that with the past life energy i want to clarify and i'm going to use the um akashic tarot again and let's talk about it there's a past life energy that i picked up on in the beginning of this reading and they do want to talk about it we're going to pull from this deck and i think one of okay, the architect all right okay 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 so um some of you guys may vibe with a greek or egyptian <clears throat> uh timeline uh past life uh we have gabriel and we have caught in the ruins so i feel like some of you may actually have been an architect or there was some kind of foundation you built prior uh, in a past life. And so, okay, so what the message is here. Did we have, let me look some. All right, that's what I thought. Okay, so, all right, with this, um, I messed up all the cards. Oh, well, you don't care. Okay, add some. All right, so with this, 22, and then we have the architect. All right, so basically this is master builder energy for you. Let me just clear some of this stuff out. Uh, this is master builder energy for you. Um, and that's what the energy of this year started, is this master builder energy. And you know how to build strong foundations because you've done it before in a past life. I feel like you may have been a spiritual leader you may have been a guide um, to people in uh, higher political positions or people came to you. Uh, there's also, for some of you, you literally worked on building monuments of uh, spiritual value and you know how to lay the foundation for where you wanna go. And Spirit wants you to know that you've done this before and as you get those intuitive hits um, and you learn to balance, you're gonna hear and be guided how to build this new beginning that you you are moving into so trust yourself you may actually have uh, master number 22 in your in your uh, numerology so um, i should write that down and give you a link on you guys doing your numerology i should make a video about that because it's very important this is a very important number this is this is the way makers many people who have this number or for you it's coming up in a reading so you probably you probably have this energy within you many times the beginning of their lives is very difficult and they reach a point where something triggers them and they either fly or they are not able to really harness the master number 22 uh, energy but for you I feel like this this is what's coming through for you like you are you are learning how you're remembering how to master this energy so there's big big energy coming towards you uh, group number two for Halloween and trust trust the guidance you get trust I'm hearing trust the ghosts around you I think some of you may resonate with like ghost energy spirit energy ghost hunting things like that uh, trust trust what you hear trust the intuitive guidance discern discern what's meant for you and then trust it okay all right so that's what I got for you guys I hope this resonated if it did or it didn't please leave me a comment in the comment section down below I would love to hear from you guys and um, I will see you next time. Bye. Hi, guys. All of you that selected the card number three, eighth house, endings and beginnings, 32. 32 reduces to a five, which is a number of change. So powerful change coming through with this card. Um, Halloween may actually be kind of a gateway for you to manifest change. Um, definitely an ending this has been a big year for many people this is a timeless reading so take what resonates and leave the rest behind but this has been a uh, a really powerful year 
there is a lot of awareness came has that has come through and will continue to come through and it will be a little shocking for a lot of people and i think the energy that's coming through for you is going to cause you there's an awareness that happens that's going to cause you to instigate powerful change yeah yeah sorry my <clears throat> my throat's going to close up i think i think there's something that you there you need to speak about all right you need to be honest with yourself and with other people about and it's okay you know it, it's all right we can't be everything to everyone all right so that's kind of a specific message but i'm just going to bring that on through i'm get a few more i'm going to get one more after this and then we'll go on to your reading uh this energy feels um egyptian you may have an egyptian past life that comes through uh, for you, you may be being drawn to um, Egyptian myths or um, things like that. Just go where you're guided and uh, see what, what's there for you. It, it feels like there is some kind of knowledge out of uh, Kemet. Kemet knowledge that could really help. I'm sorry if I mispronounced that. I'm horrible pronouncing words now. So... Um, there is alchemy coming forward for you. So there's a transmutation of energy that will be happening for you. Okay. So we got stability. Staff. We have I believe. And we have the radiant Lord. Wisdom, paternalism, and kindness. It's like a whole change, a paradigm shift is what I'm feeling. The three of wands. The two of wands. Temperance. The Hierophant and the Five of Swords. All right. So I'm feeling, okay. So this is part of the change, the Five of Swords. We have five, five, five here. So uh, definitely been uh, the Lord of Defeat. So so definitely been some heartache here. There's been a lot of pain. I'm feeling with the Three of Wands, like so much passion, like burnout. I feel burnout for you. Like, like you have reached a point of burnout and you have to make some choices. And these choices are going to help you with your stability. I think there's a choice you need to make that might scare you a little bit, but it's going to help you with your stability. And it's going to allow, okay, love. I'm feeling love to come through. Love with this Hierophant and this uh, Temperance card. Magnus of the Eternal Gods and the Daughter of Reconcilers. Um, and then we have the Two of Wands, Lord of Dominion. All right, so th this is as if you need to reconcile yourself to the fact that um, you, wow, okay, so there's an intensity coming through for you in a relationship, and uh, it, may, it may actually unnerve you a little bit and scare you, all right, but there are good things in this. I think some of you may be afraid to commit and afraid to move forward. There may also be some hesitation in um, moving forward in your job uh, or a goal, but there's definitely an, an, a relationship energy here. And I kind of want, I want to, I want to pull some more from um, the Saint, uh, Lady Death Tarot. I'm not going to butcher her name. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling um, like this scares you. I feel like you want to marry this person, okay? And you're a little afraid. You're not sure how you're going to do it. And uh, Spirit is telling you that you have the wisdom to figure this out. Okay. This person has been laid in front of you for a reason. And do not be afraid of change. All right. Do not be afraid of it. Just surrender to it. Yeah. There is your Ace of Cups. So that's the cup of love. Just surrender to the cup. In other words, <laughs> it's a great cup. Look at that cup. That's not just any cup, you guys. That's that's a pretty dope cup, right? So, you know, don't be afraid of this. Uh, this is something that many of you have been wishing for with the uh, Seven of Swords. Yeah, you've been wishing for it, and when it shows up, it's like, huh? What? <laughs> Where did this come from? Um, and you may be in the relationship with this person, but look at this. Look at this. Look at this dude looking at this cup. Yeah. He's like all about it, all about that cup. So I think there's an energy here. I'm feeling an energy here of a need to believe that this is possible, that somehow, some way you're going to make this work. And um, 
this is really about letting go so you can trust what comes forward for you. Okay, uh, this Halloween, I'm feeling like there is a need to trust <laughs> uh, that what is coming forward is good for you. And I pulled the devil, and this is not a typical devil. All right, that's a pretty cool devil, right? And I don't feel this is negative at all. I feel like this is magnetic energy that is pulling you towards this person and this opportunity. Uh, the cups can also be an opportunity that hits you out of nowhere. It could be a person, place, or thing, but it's definitely a good thing. It's a good thing. So the advice here for you guys is to trust. Trust where your life is taking you. Trust where you're being drawn to because there's a wonderful um, energy of, um, wow, of power of control, of destiny, but this power isn't power like, ooh, I'm so powerful. It's power as in I am in control of my life. And I trusted this and it worked out. So it's as if you uh, use your spiritual muscle, your intuitive muscle, your uh, muscle of belief, and doing this helps propel you towards your stability. And this is money, this is your person, this is being stable in a relationship. This is, um, Connecting on a more regular basis. I don't know what that means, um, but take what resonates and leave the rest behind. So um, let me pull one more, I think, for you guys and um, see what else. Maybe two more. We'll pull We'll pull this one another one. They want me to pull another one. Okay. Okay. Woo! I caught it. So alignment. Yeah. Okay. So you're aligning with your person. Uh, even if you know this person, you're getting to further alignment because there is a, there's a road here that you're being drawn to take. The other person may be resistant. That's interesting. The other person may be resistant to this road. They may have a lot of fear and you're surrendering to the reality of how you feel and the intensity and the need to uh, go forward will help this other person feel, feel a little bit stronger. So uh, I am Aries. So be confident in how you feel about this person or this situation. Be confident in, um, in where you want to go. There is a sense here that there's clarity coming through. Like you're going to be able to see how to sail your ship, all right, towards your cup. And um, it's really beautiful. You're literally coming into alignment with something that you've wanted. Uh, some of this energy uh, feels like something you've wanted your whole life and you're going to get it and um, but there's a need here for you to to trust okay and there's an element th this is a very kind compassionate connection uh, be it a, a job connection or a love connection and you may already be in that connection but it's very kind and compassionate so this person who you may think doesn't want what you want may actually want what you want but they're also, uh, they're in this energy of compassion where um, they're okay with it just being, right? But there's a force here, and I feel like it may be you. There's a force here that wants to propel it even more because there's a magnetic energy between you two, so... All right, that's what I got for you guys, number three. Uh, I enjoyed reading for you. I hope this resonated. If it did or it didn't, please leave me a comment in the comment section down below. I would love to hear from you guys. I hope you have a wonderful Halloween and a blessed Samhain, and I will see you next time. Bye.